Hit the notification bell, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now for Disney's Up Explorers to the Rescue. Deep in South America, Carl Fredrickson was sitting in his house. He had flown here using thousands of balloons tied to his roof. He had wanted to visit Paradise Falls with his late wife Ellie. Carl had brought a stowaway along with him named Russell. Carl felt sad because he had allowed a mean old explorer to steal Russell's friend, a bird called Kevin. Carl had promised Russell he would look after Kevin. Suddenly, Carl heard a noise up on the roof. He rushed outside. Russell was rising into the air with a bunch of balloons. I'm going to help Kevin, even if you won't, Russell called. No, Russell, cried Carl. He tried to follow Russell, but the house was too heavy. The balloons had lost too much air. Carl made a decision. He kept his promise to Ellie. Now he had to keep his promise to Russell too. He pushed everything he owned out of the house until it also rose into the sky. Together, Doug, a talking dog they had befriended, and Carl set out to find Russell. And the mean explorer Munts was holding the boy prisoner aboard his ship. The spirit of adventure. Using the garden hose like a rope, Carl swung over to the ship and rescued the boy. Once Russell was inside the house, Carl and Doug went back for Kevin. Finally, Carl, Doug and Kevin managed to escape onto the roof of the airship. Russell steered the house close enough for his friends to climb inside. Then, bang, balloons popped and the house fell onto the top of the airship. When Carl toppled out onto the airship, Munts saw his chance. He raced into the house to get the bird. Thinking quickly, Carl pulled out a chocolate bar from his pocket. Kevin loved chocolate. Russell, hang on to Kevin, he yelled. When Kevin saw the chocolate, he leaped through the window, taking Russell and Doug with her. They landed safely on the airship. Munts wasn't so lucky. His foot caught on a bunch of balloons and he drifted away. Carl, Russell and Doug flew home in the spirit of adventure. Not long after they arrived home, Carl proudly stood by Russell's side as the boy became a senior wilderness explorer. Carl had something special to give him too. Carl pinned a grape soda cap pin on Russell's sash, the badge that his wife Ellie had given him when they were young. The yelly badge, he said. Wow, Russell said, giving him a salute. Carl smiled, knowing that he and his friend had many exciting adventures ahead. So there you go, I hope you enjoyed my story today. I love you all. Have a wonderful, wonderful one, and hope to see you tomorrow. <laughs>